All right, everybody, welcome back to part or stream number three, which will be part number seven on YouTube of our Deathwish 808 stream takeover as we play Stray, where we make our way. Uh, we're in Midtown by the looks of it. I, to be honest, I can't actually remember where we got to in the last of the, in the end of the last one. I know we went to, we found. Um, the other dude, didn't we? Altazar, I think was his name. I, I his name eludes me. Yeah, he was in the like the tree. And yeah, do we do we are we still at the tree? The I tree think, of life. Oh, he's there. Look, he's there. What's going on, dude? How you doing? <laughs> I've done well, my man. How are you? Yeah, not so bad, thanks. Not so bad. Just trying yeah. to uh Remember where we got up to on Friday when we streamed last. Um, I'm trying to remember because my own brain, uh, my memories, my own playthrough, and yours kind yeah. of messed together. And uh, I do remember uh, you going through. You were on the raft. And yeah, we went through you, the sewers. Yeah, we met the that. other dude. The um, Bal Balthazar, I think, was his name. And yeah. then I think I think we may have gone up to the next area. Um, I think we're looking for Coco now, I think it was a name, if I remember rightly. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, th I, th I think that's where we were, but, you know, let's, um, let's maybe stop guessing. Well, my memory is worse than yours, so... We'll I find that, that hard to believe, to be fair. Um, yeah, anyway, I, I don't. <laughs> let's stop guessing. And let's I forgot guess. how to play Portal. Well, I've forgotten how to play Portal, to be fair. Nah, can, I think we've all forgotten. My ass. I, I bet I wouldn't be able to kick your ass, to be fair. Yeah, you would. Okay. Uh, just like you are in, uh, for example, Colorful Recolor. Yeah. Um, level 89 is proper kicking my ass, though. I've been on that for like probably an hour and a half, maybe even longer, and it's kicking my ass big time. Uh, yeah, I started to play again. Just like after a few moves i'm like i don't i don't know what to do different i'm it's still on, 50, on 59 yeah oh, okay so i was like I'm put off i want to i want to complete it but i'm put off of my own stupidity so i yeah, mean I it's, think a, it's, I, a, it's a good it's a good puzzle uh so at least the uh, i mean it's definitely a tough puzzle i mean when i hear you know i'm hearing a lot of people struggling on that one yeah um and god i would change something and do something different and uh, end up in different scenarios but none of them worked like like it, it 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 always results in me either being in an endless loop or dying yeah i hear you there's um well you you've solved it multiple times so you yeah know i did so I, I solved it once and but i said to hugo at the time i was like yeah i saw uh, that comment yeah i'm not sure i could solve it again and then i did and i went back and i managed to remember how to solve it at the time but i don't know that i would remember how to do it now <laughs> <laughs> that that's that's a fine example of uh yeah uh, there's of of, 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 of the, the difficulty on a on a level and there's a couple of there's a couple of really good ones after it um without like spoiling or anything i think 80 81 got me for a little bit uh and then let's say 89 is proper kicking my ass at the minute i just I I know what I need to do. I just cannot work out how to do it, and I'm just I'm like like you are on eighty nine, uh, fifty nine. I'm just going around in circles at the minute. So yeah. um, 
Yeah, yeah I've kind of thought about it in my head here and there, but uh, between three keys, three different switches. Uh, anyway, okay. should we? Should we should look, we this on? is a subway station. Jesus yeah, Christ, look, look this this is a subway station. <laughs> <laughs> This will be uh, this will be edited much like um, I did some editing on episode five earlier on, where you just went on a ten minute tangent. It'll just be like a, <laughs> a fade to black and then casually bring it back up just as we get to the end of it. <laughs> What's going on, Mika? Hey, Dan. Yeah, that works. Hey, Mika. I'd completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride to anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning, after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. Good to hear, Mika. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find Clem this Clementine. Oh, I said Clementine, not Coco. I said Coco. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some one of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I um, I put the stream on Discord for you, Deathwish, just so you can listen to the game audio if you want to. Yeah, I'm hearing it. I yeah, appreciate okay, it. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to find a fuse because there was a um, somewhere as we where we came in. Like there was like a place for a fuse or a place to put something at least. Yep. So, You're not incorrect. Let's uh, see if we can find something, shall we? And uh, can we drive the train? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but of course. Yeah, no power. No power, no fun. It's a bit of a... Okay, that's a bit random. Don't have to press X there to jump up. That's kind of weird. Uh, anywho. Yeah, uh, I think it was pointing out a sleeping spot, essentially. Or maybe not. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's like in certain positions the marker comes up, like there. But you yeah. can just literally like walk forward in it. It's like one of the only spots that you don't have to press X, I suppose, to uh, get up, which is uh, interesting. Yeah, I found that same same issue with uh, different areas, like uh, back when you were in the library. Yeah, uh, uh, I found that where i actually needed to go to do some things it didn't show up unless i hit a certain trigger spot facing the right direction at a certain distance away and sometimes i'd hit it stop and it would go away immediately like i went a pixel too far or something it was yeah weird. but anyway go ahead. metro is closed due to, i think it's meant to be closed Due to pandemic restriction, please do not enter. Any violation of rule can result in heavy prison sentence. Welcome to America. So many books here. Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like, like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone. It's, uh, Mika, is, is the AI you? I know you love a, a good book and spending time with the books. Oh, is Mika confirmed? And it's the only logical answer. Leeduck, you know Clementine.
Okay, I'm guessing, uh... Guessing this guy has not got much to say. Right, onwards we go. Oh. In a bad robot. Good kitty kitty. I'm gonna be out more. Some love locks. Where is that bridge they do that on? Uh, it's in Paris. Okay. Originally. Yeah. Wanting Cover. Clementine, troublemaker outside, rebellious. Please report any sightings. Oh dear. Yeah, I always wanted uh, after after I found out. Well, I, I saw that many many years ago. Before I ever came across lock picking lawyer, I'm like, I want to see lock picking lawyer go out to that bridge <laughs> and, and see how fast it takes them to pick every lock on there. You're too busy uh, to know anything. Yeah, I think he would set a world record. I mean, that that dude is. Better, I mean, he's like in the top one percent. Don't worry about trash, the Nico Corporation will take care of everything. Thanks. Well, considering what we found out in the last episode, it seems like they're uh, responsible for these, uh, for the Zergs. So, um, yeah. Okay, uh, how many airboats do I have? Not enough. <laughs> Please state your identity. Operate or I'll have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Yikes. Yeah, you got a guess on how many airboats I have? Please leave me alone. I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Ooh. Uh, I want to say, actually, you've got like over 10,000 already. That would be insane. That would mean I would have hit 100,000 last year. Yeah, you lose. Mika wins. Uh, I have 28.92. So you have 2,982. 2,892. Dyslexic. That never gets Freak. old. <laughs> okay. Could have like something cool hidden behind there, but it's not. Well, then you didn't look good enough. Maybe. Catwalk. Achievement unlocked. Midtown. Where's the Spider Man? Cat dog. Hey, I'm off to work. See you later. Okay, honey, be cautious. Sentinels. They are quick to make arrests for no good reason. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm good. Are you to work? You can I open the door so I can sneak in or not? Ah, uh, there, there's a different way you go when you're going to work. Oh, is there? Yeah, when you're when you're coming home casually, you get to that door. Going to work, there's a work door. Is it like a one-way system in the house? Like, <laughs> in one way out the other? 
Yeah, it's basically door portals. But in reality, he just fell back asleep because he hit sneeze and he's going to be late. There's some cutting edge tech right there. It's that cutting edge that the game doesn't want us to focus on it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I had a computer that, well, wasn't mine, but I remember seeing, seeing computers like that. The computers that even have uh, DVD, Blu ray, or any kind of uh, drives like that anymore? Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, I, I haven't. I don't. I think. Well, actually, I think I have one. One or two, but it was back when DVD uh, drives were inexpensive, and I never even—I don't even know—I could look to see if I have Blu-ray, but yeah, I, I, no, I, I don't—I don't think I ever ended up uh, doing Blu-ray. Well, I'm pretty sure most know. most computers these days don't even come with CD drives, so. Yeah, well, there's no point. Everything is downloaded. Unless you, you know, you don't have it. And then... But yeah, I mean, shit, even back in the day, the DVD drive was like, Street it, got, it got to where we writable, all that jazz. It was like 10 bucks. So, hold on, this guy says street, floor, and door number. So, we don't know about the street, but they're on floor three, door five. Just got to find the, uh, the weird street, I guess. Uh... Yeah, I think it... I had already been there by the time I found that and had been around. Yeah. Right over here. The factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. You can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. Should say the same. Huh? Yeah, rare, it's rare to see games on the DVDs these days, Mika. I know, obviously, it's not uh, it's not recent, but uh, yeah, it's still quite rare to see them. Yeah, I got a a ton of them. I still have a I still have hundreds of CD covers, and most all of my CDs that I ever bought. Hoping one day they'll be worth like, uh, you know, some money more than what they cost back then. <laughs> so this this guy, he says he's busy. Yeah, <laughs> reading his upside down newspaper. <laughs> I found that comedic. Kinda looks a bit. Um, Plus. a bit of a shady character. I did notice he's got like a bit of a gold gold chain Mr. T kind of look about him. <laughs> On the go. Oh look, there's um what symbol am I looking for? Because there's a uh it kind of says no. So we're looking for that street, I guess. Also, I feel like they missed a trick here with the box. They could have done a, a little Metal Gear Solid Easter egg where you can walk in the box. That would have been pretty cool. Well, there's... Uh, I'll just say there's a reason why... Well, I, dare, I dare say at some point you're going to hide and be able to sneak into someone. That's my initial gut reaction, but... We'll see. But yeah, nice uh, spotting on the upside-down newspaper. And that, yeah, I, 
I found things in a different order. A lot of things you did, I, I didn't. It was like absolutely ass backwards. Club's closed. Get lost. Oh yeah, who are you? The police. Everyone's looking for her. I didn't let her in if that's what. Oh yeah, make it. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, that was a cool picture of the Half-Life 2 episode 1. Achievement. Uh, Cat's best friend. Merchant Crook showed me a faulty battery the other day. Now he just pretends to not hear me every time I try and confront him. If it wasn't for the Sentinels on patrol, he'd end up with spare parts. Okay. Interesting. Residency, Shop Street. Be careful. Let's have a look down this one. Of it. I see you. Ah, oh, come on, the power's on. Come on, energy drink. Be fair. I love the traffic cone on the head. Been in the city below? I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. Trying to bar, it was the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver in the knee. It's closed now. This guy bums me out. He's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. I love the fact it's like I took a screwdriver to the knee. It's like uh bit of an arrow. You know, yeah, the, the robot sort of thing, it's um the whole error to the meme meme. Ouch, huh, what a weird feeling. Are you like swapping his head or something? I was well, I don't know. I was thinking why why is he giving a robot a haircut? <laughs> well but you know, work is works. Oh, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, Clementine, she went here once. Why do you ask? You have her address on the back. The residence is just the very right, just to the right when you leave my shop. Yeah, I'd already know it's the uh, street, so. I mean, let's be honest, why would they have like saucepans and pots and pans in a sink? No. Saucepans. It's almost like it's a. Uh, it's a hairdresser's or a barber's, but they literally just change the head instead of uh, restyling, yeah. which is quite interesting. Like Mika said, just a, a, a robot lobotomy. Good thing you got those clothes on, robot. You'd be cold otherwise. <laughs> I tried downloading an aimbot to be the best at this game, but ended up with malware. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but everything seems odd now. <laughs> Rasputin. Oh no. Raz input. Well, I read, read it wrong. That's a picture. I've seen that girl before, I think. She's looking for information about all sorts of very old machines. Weird. I win. <laughs> you, know, you don't need aimbot. Hey, nice break. <laughs> I mastered every game that ever existed, but I can't figure out how this one works. Am I not seeing the whole picture here? I think it's good for, I think. Okay. 
he just says exactly the same thing as the he won a dodgeball tournament for bot's sake i mean there's nothing i can't do why I don't know, Tommy. I like pretty much everything. I'm just going to say the same thing. Okay. That's a shame. My favorite drink is oil. What's yours? I don't feel like they're like properly copped out with the dialogue here. He said something slightly different. Bit of a random place just to kind of jump up and move around there, but okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I haven't looked at this area yet. And there's a lot of uh, robots to talk here. Uh, I can't talk to all of them. That's not to disappoint you. He's the hippie cowboy. Love. It's a good job he's a robot because that would have freaking hurt. Chase me uh, down. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of love playing uh, and love tripping up the robot and making them fall. <laughs> it's in it's like he's like meant to be like law enforcement, though. You'd think he'd be like properly <laughs> going off, going off on one at you, but that. Nah. What can I do for you, to you tonight, Chef? Can't pay me with real money. Oh, can't you pay me with real money? Take one hacksaw, please. Which one of the other got yelled at by the sentinels? For years we've been told that the surface is uninhabitable. We just accept that as fact, but why? What's this? The photo. Hmm, I think she looks familiar, but I can't be sure. My hard drive is a little buggy these days. I'm sorry I can't help you. You should ask somebody else. What? My friend, stay away from the sentinels. They're vicious and they got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 350 years, so be careful. Oh, Clementine, if I was you, I'd not want to find this girl. It's only a matter of time before she gets caught by the Sentinels. Keep asking around and you'll end up finding them. Just know that you'll also find trouble. It says no. Do not proceed further. Access to the outside is fully restricted and the elevator has been disabled. Exterior is unsafe. Do not proceed further. <laughs> not a happy chappy about that, is he? Yeah, I think it should keep me Alan.
Alrighty then. Yeah, we definitely went a whole different way about this. You're one of those young punts listening to loud music all day. Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for credit. Who is that? Their clothes look terrible. Send them to me if you want them to look fashionable. It's the training shop in Midtown, but the shopkeeper is pretty grumpy. Oh, nice looking picture. Is that an address on the back? Yeah, that first thing, but there's a street, then the floor and the door number. You should be pretty easy to find. Hence abound. Oh, we need to find a uh, cassette. Interesting. Yeah, it's funny how much different I came across things than you are. It, it just really goes to show uh, how much playtesting really needs to happen. Because, and I don't mean like you're doing anything wrong or I did anything wrong. It's just uh, uh, it kind of unfolds slightly different, but you still get the same result. Yeah, yeah. Which is, I think, uh, a really great design that you can't. Uh, at least as I see it, you can't really uh, cheese anything unless you find some weird glitch. It's just. No, I don't want to go there. But don't go there. I want to go there. Well, I think it's pretty much the same. Yeah, it, it, it seems like they spent a lot of time on camera positions based on where you go. Because, uh, and, I, and I say that in a good way because I think they did a really good job. Uh, there's, there's, certain spots that yeah could have been better but like overall the the camera positioning based on where you are and what you're doing and stuff uh pretty pretty darn good i mean i think it, it feels like it took them somebody spent a lot of time on that yeah i mean i i get the impression even, even just like some of it almost doesn't lead to anywhere but it's more from like uh cinematic kind of to, to almost to get like a big overview of what's going on and what everything is kind of thing yeah I mean unless, unless I just missed something there it didn't look like there was any like end result up there but it was like nice to get like a view from up high of everything that's around in the area so yeah we, we, we like uh, uh, well, yeah, try that again, English, please. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know, you see her a lot. I think she lives around here. 
was about leaving the city, and I, I don't get this. I don't get it. This place is great. Why leave? Yeah, they're high. Yeah. I can tell by the uh, the psychedelic clothes that Mo is wearing there. <laughs> DJ Mad C tonight at the Goro Two Club. Or the Goro Squared Club, maybe. Yeah, see, I was. This was like the first place I ended up. Okay. Uh, where it seems like it's kind of the last place you're ending up. Hey, dumb face, we can see you too. Yeah, you see, the, the thing is, though, I think these sorts of games for me, hey, Evan, um, these sorts of things for me. I kind of get the ex exploring and like talk to everybody first before kind of like heading on to what it is I actually want to do. Yeah, I mean, actually, I mean, that's what I did. I talked to every single person I could talk to. I just, I just what I'm saying is, I, I, when I first came into this whole area, which is loaded in, uh, this was the first place I went to. You. I mean, nothing on purpose or any of that. It just happened to be where I went. And, yeah. But but overall, as I'm watching, you're going to get the same result. All right. Just, just, in, can... just in a, you're going to be informed in a, the same way, but at a different time. And it doesn't matter. It's like, I have to say, thinking about it now, that's it's quite impressive. Thinking about it like that. All right, we're gonna go up to the next level. We're gonna try and see if we can take out these three. What have I called the cat? Uh, I haven't. Catty McCat Face. How's that? Hey, Evan. How you doing? Whoopsie. Such a such a clumsy cat I am. No, oh, that's no, that's on purpose. That's what cats do. Oh, whoopsie. I done did it again. Very right, good, buddy. Uh I don't think I've ever seen you on stream. Or in chat or anything. Because I normally tell him it's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's camera number three? Let dad, dad embarrass you on stream. I see that camera. Oh, I'm good, buddy. Uh, Join watching her dad uh, play astray. So. All right, let's go and grab ourselves a cassette or two. Hey, look, he's doing the robot. <laughs> My bedtime, sure. Okay, you'll come take over. <laughs> well done. I didn't think you could do it. Here, take a prize. You earned it. That's a loud mix.